This is an 86-page document, again, from the Freedom of Information, FOIA documents pertaining to Fukushima, free and available to the public, although my understanding is now there's a multiple ways to access the document. If you go to the page I've been sending people, that seems to be an area where if you've sued for Freedom of Information for a particular date or particular event, it is loaded into that uh, area where you can access it and look at it. But my understanding, and again, I'm a layman in a lot of this, is that it's all going into a freedom of information file. Everything is being recorded most of the time, is my understanding. So there's documents always going in, and there's a huge stockpile in the background of just everything. But then specifically, if you file for certain things like the Associated Press did early on, again, I, I bet you alternative media outlets, because some of them claim to be so big, and they even talk about the Sunshine Project in Texas and Freedom of Information. But when this thing went down, they didn't file for the documents themselves. I mean, even AP did. Washington Post is talking about it. So, I mean, there's a big failure in all these Freedom of Information documents. Now, this particular 86 page, let's get back to the subject, 86 pager here, and I want to look at, we're on page one. This is an email, a series of emails, and then an emergency response update, and later it's called a brief as we chronologically go in time. And I probably won't get to the NTTF recommendation guidelines, but that's probably good because I need another day to, to dig into that and try to analyze. And I've got a quick paragraph I posted up on the Uncovering uh, Plumegate blog that gives a quick summation of basically what I found in there. If you want to dig into that, I posted a lot of screen captures up there. You can read that on the WordPress Uncovering Plumegate blog. So this is from Michael Weber. This is on the 18th. Well, that would be seven days a week after the Fukushima meltdown sent to the LIA07 Hawk. And what I gather that is from reading these documents is it is the like the Freedom of Information Committee slash media control, information control. Anything and everything is being routed through channels, especially the information. Yeah, I can say not everyone's in on the cover up. You know, some of them compartmentalize it, some are new, some of them have no clue what's going on. One of them's blurted out about the children's doses in California when his buddy was trying to keep quiet about it. So you know, it's not a it's not an absolutely professional run, you know, well oiled machine, but they do pretty good to keep the information contained. And if it does leak out, they're actively searching as one of these documents I post up there will show you at the very back, page three fifty two, read backwards to page three fifty one, you'll see where they say, Hey, someone's posted up a, a plume plot and it's got the NRC logo on it. They say, Oh, well, we gotta do something about that and if I'm not sure if it's the official or unofficial source, not don't know how they got it, and they're very concerned with making contact with this website. If they don't voluntarily take it down, they say they'll do whatever it takes, including contact law enforcement. So they can be very harsh and very aggressive about it. It seems they're mostly worried about the more popular sites that seem to attract more uh, people who are searching and uh, larger numbers of people is what I'm trying to say. So those, they prioritize. Obviously, a person like me that's probably got just a handful of people paying attention to me, not that big a threat to them. If you're Alex Jones, you know, that he ever said something and started posting, you know, what I tell you in these documents, so there'd be quite an uproar over it, I guarantee it. And if on The View, if on The View during daytime television programming, Barbara Wawa were to say something about it, and then maybe Whoopi would say, and what about the 40,000 Sherman Magano, and then the one blonde girl would say, and what about the children's dose of the California? Think what can happen. See, that's got to be stopped at all costs, folks, because then people have information. They can make better decisions. They say, oh, I didn't know that. I did not know that. Oh, my gosh. Are you serious? Are you serious? Because when you realize what it takes to keep them running in one of these catastrophic meltdowns, it's a Herculean task. It is a Herculean task. Okay. We're looking at this U.S. NRC emergency response update. He says, thanks. Thinking about the level of detail that might be appropriate for a daily one-page summary of current status for Congress, you might consider something like the following. They're, they're very careful to make sure there's different filters. The public at large doesn't get much at all anywhere. And you can go to Informable and read a lot of good stuff, but I'm telling you there's even better stuff available if you really want to dig and find it for yourself. So there's different level of filters. There's the public's level. There's what Congress may get a different level. Blumenauer and Boxer are writing letters saying, hey, well, how can you assure us of what measures and steps you're taking? We want to know if dust from China is coming over here. What's to keep us from getting radiated? 
and they, I'm sure they're given their, you know, they're not given the complete story, I promise you that, and there's clear evidence of that in here, that the U.S. states are given a different story, and the congressmen could be given a different story, and to different levels of filters of information. Some of the top, probably Pentagon or somewhere in that intelligence, is gathering all the complete information to be sure. That's probably filed away in that giant warehouse where Indiana Jones had the Ark of the Covenant filed away. You know, you'll never, you may never know. You may never know some of these things, folks. It, let's face it. This is a secretive police state. It really, really is. And just because they're not kicking your door and now yelling at you doesn't mean it's not going to happen to somebody today, you know. So keep in mind, this control of information goes hand in hand with fascism in a, a police state. It's very secretive. Even the congressmen are given a different level of information. Now, some of them are well aware of exactly what's going on. Make no mistake. Some of them are quite ignorant. Okay, and some of them may just not even care. You know, I, I don't know about all the details, but certainly some of them are kept ignorant. Some of them don't know. Some of them probably have a very good idea what's going on and are playing along with the game. And you have to, to a large degree, to pull off a conspiracy this big. And like I say, it's all in the alternative and independent, too. And Plume Gate has always been my depth sound, although I've got a list of things I'm building now that seems to be a number of very politically sensitive subjects that no one wants to talk about. And so I guess they're never going to get fixed because people are going to settle for 70% of their freaking pancakes. You know what I'm saying? So that, how is that going to work for America? How is that working for you, America? They're to build a new reactor. They're licensing. I'm going to go with my mom to the meeting in Bronson. You can't talk, but you can listen to them. And they're not going to consider the fact that they're liars. They're not going to consider the fact that they are winging it by and large. There's all these unusual things that happen they can't account for. You can procedure and plan all you want. They don't want to mention that at these meetings. So it's very carefully controlled, even your ability to argue against this failed industry. You can only argue certain things. We'll let you argue against it. But kind of like George Bush, you can ask him any question you want, as long as it's out of his hat full of questions. Same with Obama. You don't really think those debate questions weren't scripted, right? Especially the lady about gun control. What are you going to do about the shootings? She taught us Google MK Ultra, lady, is what I would tell you. Google MK Ultra. And read Jesse Ventura's book about in the 60s. They got two girls hypnotized to plant briefcase bombs. So think about it. People need to start to think like the Sherlock Holmes detective. They're ruling stuff out and dismissing stuff without even giving it due consideration. Won't even look at the facts. I had a guy the other day post up Alex Jones' money bomb. So I post up a couple of my articles, and he, one of them's 5,000 words worth of evidence, folks. You know what he says? You can't be serious within a second, couple seconds. The guy claims to be a life coach. I said, you're a life coach, buddy, but you won't even read. You dismissed offhand my contention without even how are you going to life coach people. What are you missing that you're not telling them, you know? And this is part of the problem is people's inability to think critically and, and weigh evidence fairly and give it due consideration. I'm not telling you there's a, 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 a green beanstalk with a giant in the clouds. You know, I'm telling you something that's within the realm of physical possibility. It's not that bizarre. It's not that oddball. It's not that unlikely to happen. Okay, so I'm showing you on this page early on they're talking about what we're going to give to the congressman. Let me grab my notes here real quick and let's take a look. One to page one to two. Okay, page four to five is the real deal, what they're actually going to give them. You can see here also on page two it says NRC is cooperating with the DOE, EPA, NOAA, and other agencies in conducting radioactive plume modeling and assessing radioactive contamination within Japan. That was the one initially that said, hey, how about we give this to the congressman? We're telling them we're modeling a plume within Japan. Okay, now secretly, if you look in the documents, they've long been detrimentic modeling all these plumes and what have you in the United States. And I'm telling you, I've got plumes in the documents there that show it turned right and went towards Tokyo. Was there warnings for Tokyo? Was there evacuation, folks? TEPCO, Schmetco, they're all the same. It's called fascism. It's called globalism. There's no more nations. It's giant corporations calling the shots. They don't care about the Tokyo people. They don't care about the Californian people. That is my contention. And Obama got away with this on his watch, thanks to alternative media outlets. And they know who they are. And I, and folks, while I'm at it, i got a Halloween special coming up. I'm going to crank up my diesel Greyhound bus. I'm going to run over every troll I know out in the street. Halloween night. I'm calling everyone out. Please don't miss that one because these are the guys that let Obama get away with it. And Romney, too, because once you unveil the whole conspiracy and all these agencies and characters and everything they're doing to keep us from this information from the plume and the fallout and the 40,000 deaths, you realize, like, my gosh, 
Why didn't they pray that up and down since July? Since July of 2011. Wow, these are the these are professionals, folks. You ought to put me to work, man, because I was just one guy myself. I seem to be doing better research and posting a better. I'm I'm showing things that no one else. I'm telling you right now. If you look at the five documents I gave you tonight, dig through those and dig through the NTTF recommendations. Holy crap, Ola! I don't think people really understand just the the whole on glass glass house type scenario that we're in. These are ticking time bombs. That's not an un, unapt description. That's a perfect description. And let me tell you something. It, when they go off, it's not an unguided weapon. They say, well, Fukushima is like a dirty bomb going off and going off. True, true, but they aim it because heart controls the jet stream. Jet stream pulls the radiation. If you can control when it rains, you can move the jet stream and make it rain on a particular place. And that is a directed weapon. That is a directed nuclear weapon, my friend. Something to consider, and please keep in the in your mind these possibilities. Technology advances whether they let us know it or not. Remember that. So we see clearly in the first couple of pages what we want to give the congressman. We don't want to tell him or model him just yet, man. Hold off. We leak it out slow. Damage mitigation. Gatekeeping is what it's called. Boy, I ran into that in the alternative media, man. Okay, I'm going to go to page four to five. Actually, the page three is a like a status update and there's a number of these throughout the documents where you can you can really see early on they knew things were a lot worse than anybody was telling us right but it's all damage control you can't come out and say oh my gosh you know if we had a multiple meltdown people's dying all over the place there'll be a up cry an outroar to to end nuclear power it's one of my contentions why it's being suppressed is there's they're protecting this industry well we have to ask ourselves what are we going to pay in the end for nuclear power I mean, maybe you get some electricity sent to your PS3. You can watch the ball game tonight. You can take a hot shower. But in the end, what are we going to pay on this planet when it's all said and done? In 50 years and 100 years, your great-grandkids, your great-great-grandkids, if they're even there, if their sperm count's even high enough to reproduce. So you see the severity is there. Oh, it's critical that we're all becoming informed about the situation and going to do something about it. Right? We cannot just stand by, continue to report on the USS Liberty. Right? Nothing's going to come of that. I would like a new investigation for 9-11, but right now I think that's probably passed and we're not going to get justice on it. Maybe we could concentrate on something in the present, in the here, and the now, in the real, with actual times and places. And look, even if we didn't get a single conviction on Flynn Gate, let's just pretend that you know it just doesn't happen. We reveal to the American public the size and extent of the conspiracy and the cover-up and all these people working together. They do not understand that that is a reality, and that is indeed revealed in these documents. Debbie, the kitty cats, if they begin to act up much more, we will have to arrest them and put them in the room. I apologize if not my kitty cat really, I don't know. Has my kitty cat made a deal with somebody to sabotage my show I don't know about? <laughs> All right, folks, now page four to five is the real deal. This is what they're actually going to send out. That's my understanding. It says official use only, but it's all being recorded, freedom of information. That's one thing I like about the Nuclear Regulatory Commission. Is they are recording these events and these words and transcripts and phone calls and meetings and what have you so we can look back. Freedom of information is very precious, ladies and gentlemen, if they ever take that away from us. We're in bad shape. We wouldn't even know this little scraps of information we're getting here. And to be sure, there's some heavy redaction. But I've come across a couple documents where there's a line crossed through, and it's as if the redaction's been removed somehow or something. I can read certain things, and it's pretty heavy-duty stuff. We're going to get to that in the next couple of days. Probably won't cover it all tonight. But I want to make sure I elaborate on certain points and certain things so you know, as Obama said, so you know... Well, I know, right? Didn't he say that about the... Wow, folks. I can't believe he's going to skate on through to the election and going to make it through, man. I tell you what. Romney's up there yammering about it being clean energy. See how they let it get away with it? And this has been out since July, all this stuff. Okay. So right here, let's see what I want to point out on the 4 to 5. Highlighted section. The Department of Energy and the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency are the federal communicators on questions regarding possible domestic impacts from the events in Japan and on domestic monitoring. They're letting people know. There's an avenue information travels, right? You give it to us. In certain instances, you see that, I think it's uh, National Energy Institute or one of these 
multitude of an acronym agencies is collecting information from the nuclear plants. They say if you detect something from Fukushima, all right, you turn that into us, and we.